Several historical periods have successfully come across the Kingdom of Bahrain that are rooted deep in history from 3000 BC through 3000 CE. In ancient history, Bahrain was known as Dilmun, Tylos, and Awal. And in the eras of the Middle Ages and modern history, it became to be known as Awal and Bahrain. In the year 629, corresponding to the 8th Hejri year, a letter from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, reached Bahrain, in which he invited its people to join the religion of Islam, to which the people of Bahrain were honored to carry the message of Islam to the other bank of the Arabian Gulf. Bahrain remained part of the caliphates from the Rashidun throughout the Umayyad and Abbasid eras. When Bahrain became part of the Arab Muslim entity that was established by Al Khalifa. In 1783, Sheikh Ahmad bin Muhammad bin Khalifa al Khalifa was successful in driving away the forces of the then chief of Bahrain, Nasser al Matkur, as they attacked Zibara. Consequently, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed took advantage of this victory to emancipate Bahrain and work to ensure its protection. Thus, Bahrain had forces on the ground as well as a navy fleet with about 7,000 fighters and 150 ships. Bahrain Defense Force BDF was formed in early 1968 by an Amari decree issued by the late Sheikh Aisa bin Salman al Khalifa, appointing His Majesty King Hamad bin Aisa al Khalifa, who was the Crown Prince at the time, as BDF Commander in Chief following his graduation from Mons Officer Cadet School. At the beginning of the 21st century, his Majesty launched his reform project, which had succeeded in establishing a comprehensive revival of the kingdom. Thanks to good collective efforts and the tireless work of His Majesty the King, as well as the backing of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad, and the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a unified, homogeneous and balanced force was formed to defend the country and ensures its safety, independence, and sovereignty from any outside threat. Bahrain Defense Force was also supported by the public security forces and the National Guard to maintain order and the rule of law and contribute to developing and protecting the civil structure of the country. Bahrain Defense Force supported the Kingdom's various security services in cases of crisis, emergency, or natural disasters. It also contributed along with the armed forces of the GCC states, in accordance with the framework of the Joint Defense Agreement. Bahrain Defense Force cooperated with the Arab countries within the framework of the Joint Arab Defense Agreement for the Arab League. Bahrain Defense Force coordinated with the allied countries within the framework of the bilateral and international cooperation agreements for the protection of territorial borders, international security and humanitarian operations, and counter-terrorism efforts under the umbrella of the United Nations.
the various ground forces units have undergone several stages of upgrading and developing in terms of being armed, trained and equipped. In addition, an infantry unit was formed to become the core of the maneuvering forces. Ground forces were developed to include mechanized infantry units. Tank units. Special Forces and the Royal Guard. as well as combat support units and administrative support units. The Royal Armoured was established with an armoured vehicle named Salaldin, followed by armoured vehicles such as Panhard and the M60A3 tank. The formation of the Royal Bahrain Air Force began with the introduction of two B0105 helicopters, which resulted in the preparation of the infrastructure to accommodate a squadron of Bell 212 helicopters. The construction phase of the helicopter wing lasted about 25 years, at a high rate of safety. The Royal Bahrain Air Force includes a search and rescue team in the helicopter wing, which is a mainstay of emergency operations in the event of war and peace. This team has performed remarkable work in many emergencies, accidents and disasters, including participation in search and rescue operations for crew members of the American frigate Stark in the waters of the Arabian Gulf. after it was hit by a missile on the 18th of May, 1987.
Furthermore, F-5, F-16, Cobra and Black Hawk helicopters and Hawk and Firefly training aircrafts. As well as RG, C-130 and Boeing 737 air transport aircrafts, as well as Bell 412 helicopters, entered the service of the Royal Bahrain Air Force. Additionally, the Royal Bahrain Air Force significantly contributes to the Bahrain International Air Show. The Royal Bahrain Naval Force was first formed with one transport vessel. The force was then developed over several stages that saw the entry into service of artillery vessels. The rocket ships, 45 meters and 62 meters, that were equipped with Exocet missiles. Frigate Sabha was also launched, which was equipped with Harpoon missiles and Standard missiles. The Royal Bahrain Naval Force also includes a number of high-speed combat vessels, including Mark V high-speed combat ships, in addition to modern transport vehicles and a sailing training ship. The Bahrain Defence Force plays an important and vital role in supporting the security and stability of the Kingdom of Bahrain and defending its sovereignty. Among the most important tasks of Bahrain Defence Force is the essential and effective role it plays in consolidating Bahrain's historical right to its islands and territorial waters. The Bahrain Defence Force was tasked with supporting the forces of the Arab states during the October 1973 war. After the fighting group had completed its preparations and was ordered to act, a ceasefire was declared, 
the Bahrain Defence Force participates in and contributes to supporting efforts to maintain peace in the region and the world as a whole. Its notable contributions include the following. Bahrain Defence Force participated in the protection of the oil tanks during the first Gulf War, especially during the period between 1987 and 1988. Bahrain Defence Force units participated in the war to liberate Kuwait, along with other Allied forces in 1990 and 91. Royal Bahrain Naval Force participated through Subha Frigate in Operations Permanent Freedom in the Arabian Sea in 2002. Bahrain Defence Force units participated in the defence of the state of Kuwait in 2003 during the invasion of Iraq. The Royal Special Force participated alongside the supporting forces in Afghanistan in 2005. The Royal Bahrain Naval Force participated in the counter-terrorism operations in the Gulf region in 2006. Royal Bahrain Naval Force participates in the international mission as part of the Joint Task Force 151 of the coalition forces under the umbrella of the United Nations and operating in the Gulf of Aden in 2009 in the framework of international cooperation for the efforts of peacekeeping operations and the fight against piracy. The Royal Bahrain Naval Force had the responsibility of commanded Joint Task Force 152 of the Allied Coalition Forces under the umbrella of the United Nations and operating in the centre and south of the Arabian Gulf in 2008 and 2011. The Royal Medical Services participated in the 2011 Bahrain Promise Campaign in Haiti as part of a humanitarian mission under the umbrella of the United Nations. In September 2014, Royal Bahrain Air Force participated in bombing the sites of terrorist organizations as part of international efforts to protect regional security and international peace. In 2015, Royal Artillery provided support to Jordan's forces. Royal Guard participated in the humanitarian efforts in the Federal Republic of Nepal in 2015. In addition to its contribution in refugee relief operations in the Mediterranean, in cooperation with the British Royal Navy in 2016. In 2015, Bahrain Defence Force participated within the Arab coalition forces led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in operations Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope in Yemen. During these operations, Bahrain Defence Force lost a number of servicemen who sacrificed their lives for the sake of their homeland and in supporting justice.
As part of its keenness to promote military training, Bahrain Defence Force implemented a training policy through training institutions led by the National Defence College, the Royal Command and Staff College, Sheikh Isa Royal Military College and the Royal Defence Force Training Centre. In addition, Bahrain Defence Force trains its forces in various military, technical and administrative specialities through institutes and schools in its units. The Bahrain Defence Force also created opportunities for its members to join undergraduate and higher studies in various specialities. As for the administrative aspect, the wise leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain has paid great attention to upgrading the living requirements of individuals, including the provision of high-quality health services. In this respect, the Royal Medical Services has established the Military Hospital, which includes the latest integrated medical departments, as well as a highly efficient field medical battalion. In addition, the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Specialized Cardiac Center, which is considered to be one of the most advanced medical centers for cardiac treatment and surgery that serves all citizens of the kingdom. as well as the King Hamad University Hospital, one of the region's premier and most distinguished medical facilities that includes an advanced medical center specialized in the treatment of cancer tumors. The BDF military judiciary is an independent judiciary and its judges enjoy the same guarantees as civilian judges. Military courts of all kinds have been established to achieve military degrees. The military course of cassation was established to help develop the military judiciary and place it among the most developed Arab and international judicial bodies. The sports team of the Bahrain Defense Force has made remarkable accomplishments in many international competitions. Including but not limited to 20 gold medals 10 silver medals and 16 bronze medals. BDF athletes attained a historical achievement at the Olympic Games with two gold medals and a silver medal. The Bahrain Defence Force seeks to ensure adequate housing for all its affiliates, both officers and personnel. The BDF General Command, in coordination with the Ministry of Housing, has worked to ensure that adequate housing services are provided for each individual in the Defence Force.